Here we're going to give you a quick demonstration of this Carter hydraulic steel worker. This one's got a capacity of 400 kilonewtons for punching and chopping. Um, and the first station we're going to demonstrate is the punching station. This has got a capacity to go up to 24 millimetres, up to 12 millimetre plate. This unit has been converted and it has a drive direct digital phase converter to allow the machine to run from single phase. And here you can see that the cable coming out of the machine goes to a 32 amp socket. The unit needs a uh, 20 amp supply to run at full capacity, but because we're only using 6 mil plate and the unit can punch up to 12 mil plate, it only draws 10 amps. And so for this demonstration, we've got to run it from a 13 amp plug. And this adapter cable connects from the uh, blue socket to an ordinary 13 amp plug. Okay, so if you connect it up, Steve. Okay, so it's powered up now from an ordinary 13 amp plug and we're going to start the hydraulic power pack. Okay, the machine is now running. The punching station that you can see here you know, can take a number of dies. Its capacity is up to 24 mil and it will work up to 12 mil plate. And it comes with a, a set of uh, punches. There's an 8 mil one that's used, but it also comes with brand new 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24 mil round punches. But other punches can be fitted in uh, different shapes as required. Okay, so we're just going to put the guard on now and then we'll show you it working on a sheet. OK, that was the punching station that I've just demonstrated. Now on the uh, multi-purpose input side here, you can see that this could take angle iron. And this one will handle 100 by 100 by 10 mil thickness. And it can also shear 30 mil round and solid bar. Uh, we're going to use the angle iron section now. And we've got some 50 by 50 by 6 bar that we're going to test. Okay, we've switched the modes over now to the punch and notch station, to the shearing station. And Steve has got to demonstrate first of all with the angle iron. Okay, that's all set up now. Uh, okay, Steve. to uh, use a piece of 12 by 12 solid steel bar in the shearing station. Okay. And as you can see it handles putting both of those very easily and it's a very clean cut.